what's up welcome to my channel my name is Alyssa and today I am coming to you completely makeup list and a tiny bit flustered because my book is freaking coming out at the end of the month and I'm still getting through some um, um, proof proof edits and just like going over a couple things and doing some formatting like setup things before I send it off to my business partner who's gonna format it and then it'll be uploaded and then it'll be ready and then I can just focus on marketing even though that's what I wanted to be doing like a month and a half ago. It's been a little bit of a crazy March getting into April. <laughs> I haven't actually sat down to film a video in a little while but today I thought I would bring to you semi-pessimistic affirmations that have kept me going during this time. Maybe follow it up with some not so pessimistic sounding affirmations that my business partner Chio Bossi gave me that have also helped too. Cause I mean, we can't just be pessimistic to semi-pessimistic all the time, right? Normally I'm not, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Affirmation number one, you just need to get crap on the page. You can edit it later. This was a great one for the first draft and it really helped me power through the first draft. So if you're in the first draft stage, particularly if you're in the first draft stage for your very first novel, I, I recommend this affirmation to help you get through that. Um, if you have already written your first book and you are currently in an editing stage, you know how that can bite you in the butt, come back to it. But, but getting through that first draft, definitely just thinking of like it as crap. Um, while that sounds like it may be devaluing my work as a writer really helped me push through because it gave me permission not to judge what was there because I wasn't expecting it to be good. I feel like it's pretty solid now though. I mean, it could be better, it can always be better, but I'm not like cringing as I release this out into the world now, so it, it gets better. Affirmation number two, you're not going to please everybody. This is overcoming rejection 101. <laughs> Standing solid in your worth and knowing that there are people out there who are going to hate you as an author and hate your book as a book and think your story's stupid and think your characters suck. And that's okay because for every person like that, there's gonna be another person who thinks you're amazing and loves the book and think the story is absolutely awesome. I know this firsthand, not from myself, but because there is a book that I read from an indie author that shall go unnamed because I don't wanna like bring names into this, but I read it personally. I thought the writing was absolutely terrible. Like I could not believe that the person who published this book published it and had as much like fan clout as they did <laughs> about this novel because I thought the writing quite frankly was atrocious. But there were a lot of five star reviews and a lot of four star reviews and a lot of really die hard fans that were like, oh my gosh, I love this book. It's amazing. It's my new favorite book. All that to say, there is people out there who are gonna hate your book, but there's also people out there who are gonna really love it. And it's okay that people are gonna hate your book. It doesn't have to be perfect before getting out because really like the perfect book doesn't exist and perfection is just sort of a construct when it comes to art anyway. A false one at that, not a, not a real one. Affirmation number three, this will be the worst book you ever publish. This has given me a lot of comfort as a first time published author because it is my first book and it will be the worst. That doesn't mean I think it's going to be bad or terrible, but every other book I publish out from here on is just, it's gonna get better. So I don't need to put so much pressure on myself this time around. Maybe that's setting myself up for failure, like for book two, because then like that can't be the worst book I ever published. But then maybe my affirmation will change to at least this isn't as bad as the first book. I don't know. <laughs> for right now, book one is the worst book I, I will ever publish. And you know, that's okay. It's a learning experience. It's not gonna be perfect, but I still think it's pretty solid. I'm still happy with it and it will get better. I guess that could be another affirmation. Those are the three like semi-pessimistic ones. I can't ever bring myself to be just totally negative and down on myself because I used to be that way a lot and I used to kind of expect failure and now I can't totally accept failure anymore. 
Um, I see failure as a learning experience and I like to look for opportunities for growth in difficult situations rather than um, the difficult situation within an opportunity for growth. So that's sort of my mindset going into this. My business partner gave me some very encouraging words that like when I was in a very negative headspace helped me a lot. She was saying things like, there's gonna be people that think your book is more amazing than Harry Potter and they're gonna think you are a better author than JK Rowling just because that's how people find their favorite authors. That's true for your book too, if you're writing a book and publishing it. You are going to be someone's favorite author. Someone is going to think that your book is the most amazing thing on the planet and they are going to love it and you and they're gonna to be totally obsessed with what you write. Those are some of my mental things that I've been telling myself going into publishing my book at the end of the month and like buckling down, getting this done and ready to go because procrastination brain is a real thing and sometimes you just gotta have those things that help you push through. That's all I have for today. If you like this short, but hopefully, I don't know, helpful in some way video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos from me on a weekly basis, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video and until next time, bye.